and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much to anybody who's subscribed, commented, watched any of my videos. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. So this vlog is about needing to be out of the water and the problems I have with a big hole somewhere in the boat. Let me go and show you. This saga with my narrowboat started off with good intentions. Having had lockdown and basically five and a half months when one couldn't visit the boat, I decided it was time in April to start on some jobs that I've been putting off for some time. Two jobs here. One is taking the panel off the integral water tank to see what state it is in and whether it needs repainting. And the other is there's a bow thruster tube fitted on this boat from when it was built. The access panel is just here with the screws quite badly painted over. And I thought I'd have a look underneath there. I got the boat booked out in May to come out of the water and I thought I'd have a look and consider whether it was worth fitting a bow thruster to the boat. Here you can see me scraping away the paint and uh, making a groove in the brass screws which are holding on the lid to the water tank. These weren't a particular problem. I was able to scrape away the paint, make the slot again in the screw and you can see me here using a, an old chisel which I filed down to make it quite sharp, scraping away the paint off the head of the brass screw. Uh, there's six holding on the lid of the water tank and I was able with the use of a screwdriver and a wrench to actually get these screws undone. The screws were quite hard to remove. At the risk of repeating myself, I am using a wrench here on the screwdriver. This one was particularly hard to undo. But if I moved on to another brass screw holding down the hatch over the fresh water tank on the boat, the next one coming up here is a lot easier and initially getting it started using the wrench and the screwdriver um, I was eventually able to loosen all the screws on the water tank. So I thought I'd have a look at the bow thruster first of all because if I did need to I'd have to paint all the water tank and that would take some time scraping it and I'll cover that in another video blog. So I'm going to move on to the hatch over the bow thruster tube. This was a problem. Little did I know that the whole bow thruster setup on this boat was going to be a real problem. Anyway, there's the hatch. I've taken off the screws. Hello. So what lies beneath, really? This is a hatch for a bow thruster tube which is running across the boat from one side to the other. Terrible trouble with these bolts holding it down. I've had to drill off the heads. Here, which I'll show you separately, is the water tank which is integral with the hull. So I've taken this six bolts out here and had to drill the heads off because they're absolutely sea solid and I tried an extractor on them, a bolt extractor. But unfortunately, when you look inside, um, anyway, have a look. It 
So we're looking inside the hatch here that's for the, that's the hatch there for where there's a bow thruster tube. Never had a bow thruster fitted on the boat. And I think this is canal water which I'm going to pump out. Why there's a lower hole there, I don't know. It, it may be the bow thruster tube. It, it may be, I don't know what. So anyway, I don't know if you can make that out in the reflection of the water, but uh, hey-ho, we better get pumping. I've got a vax machine. I've got a pump which connects to a 12 volt drill. And I don't mind going out and buying a, another bilge pump if necessary. At this rate, I think I'm going to need one. So, fax machine ready. Hose. You may have noticed by now that I'm getting nowhere with trying to suck out this water because as fast as I try and suck it out the canal is flowing back into the compartment where the bow thruster tube is. The compartment where the bow thruster tube lies should be dry and so having had a word with the team of the marina where the boat is kept I managed to get a haul out of the water that very afternoon. Thankfully they were putting a boat into the water and so the hoist or trailer was ready to take me out of the water. Here you can see a bit of muddy water coming out of the grills over the bow thruster tube. So the boat leaves the water and will be put on hard standing and I can assess the problem a bit better. Picked up some silt as well. Didn't it? Now the boat is out of the water, you can clearly see there's a rectangular hole in the top of the tube and I can assess the problem. That is a crayfish. It scared me a little bit and the poor thing went wandering backwards and forwards in the tube until I was able to rescue it with a net I borrowed from a fellow boater and return it to the canal. So here I've got the vax machine and I removed all the 
mud using a bucket and the vax machine out of the space where the bow thruster tube lived. Now I bet you're wondering what happened to all the, the mud that was in the bottom of the boat there where the bow thruster tube is. Well I'll show you. Mud, mud, glorious mud Nothing quite like it for cooling the blood But um, it's not something you want inside your boat Certainly not in the space that the bow thruster tube operates Hey ho, we live and learn Well that's where the mud went to Welcome back to the saga of the hole in the bow thruster tube. I'm just trying to get rid of any rust in there. Um, I've been using my very old and trusty Black & Decker sander. And I am also using a scraper on a stick. I know everybody wants one of those. So, let's go in and have a look at the, the rusty shell on the inside and the work I'm trying to do to scrape off the rust. I think I'm getting there. So we're going into where the bow thruster tube is, the nice hole in the bow thruster tube. And right underneath where I'm trying to scrape the rust that there is in the bow of the boat. As you can see this has been full of water when the boat's been in the water for the last 15 years or so. And um, I've got some two pack epoxy black paint which I thought I'd have a go in painting it with but uh, this is what I'm trying to do with the scraper basically when I can find the scraper with the camera always not so easy where is it somewhere down here not found it yet but I'm scraping there we go so we want to be up here there we go into the bowels. That's the bow of the boat. There. And that's what I'm trying to do. Straight up on the rust because I physically can't get in there. And uh, I think that's the uh, this bit actually here above. It doesn't look so rusty as the base plate of the gas locker. Um, yeah, I'm going to scrape off this rust as best I can using a scraper on a stick. I think I've removed quite a bit because you can see right down the bottom there there's a load of dust that's what I've managed to scrape off so far but it is a bit of a I don't know a pig and a poke a bit of a I mean look at that bit that looks nice and rusty there doesn't it It is a hard job. And then of course one's got 
the vacuum cleaner. And I will be going in to the hatch and trying to suck out the rust that is down there below. So the bow thruster watertight compartment has just had a coat of two pack epoxy paint. That's the first coat. And also I've done the underside of the hatch which fixes over the bow thruster compartment. The chandlery where I bought the epoxy paint from said it could go over rusty steel. The tin on the right is the curing agent and the tin on the left is the black coloured paint. You have to mix the two tins together roughly four to one. That is four units of paint to one unit of the curing agent. These are close-ups of the tins, that's the paint and that's the curing agent I used. What I'm trying to do is using my multi-tool either with a blade or with a kind of sanding blade on it I'm cleaning up the rust and paint on the bow thruster tube. I've kind of, you can see there where it's kind of rusty. Underneath that was a red layer of paint and I'm sending it back to bare metal because I'm going to try fiberglassing the area so that when the boat goes back in the water, water from the canal will not leak into this front compartment where a bow thruster motor should or could live. So uh, that's one of my ideas. The other idea is to spray foam inside the tube in the hope that, that also prevents water ingress into it and out into that compartment. Anyway it's cleaned up now so I'm going to think about fiberglassing in a few minutes time. So that's the remains of my plastic container mixing up the resin and hardener for the fiberglass. I've put on two sheets of fiberglass from the top over the hole there, poured some resin over the hole area which was dripping through. So now I'll show you what it's like inside the bow thruster tube because there was so much resin dropping through I decided to put a sheet of fiberglass up on the inside as the wet resin was all wet. Let me just go and show you that. So going inside the bow thruster tube itself you can see that there's a piece of fiberglass matting that I've half stuck on there. I've not finished sticking that on yet I need to mix up uh, some more resin and hardener but um, sticking a sheet from the inside and uh, I try to clean the area as best I can down to bare steel but it wasn't as good as the other side of the bow thruster tube that I've just shown you inside that sealed compartment. So I'm going to mix up some resin now and get that piece of fiberglass stuck into place. So I've gone and put some fiberglass on the inside of the tube, not as successful as uh, 
had hoped, but I've put some vertical pieces of fiberglass down because I then intend spraying some spray foam in there. I'm hoping that the vertical pieces of fiberglass will kind of form a wall with the spray foam and I can kind of stop water getting into the middle part of this tube where the hole is. Bit of a crazy idea maybe, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. So I've bought some more resin, sealed that other layer of fiberglass on top of the hole that you can see there. That's just the other side of the tube where I, again I've got some fiberglass hanging down which I'm going to uh, cover in, in spray foam uh, insulation out of a can. So that's one tube that I've filled with expanding foam. Not all of it, but hopefully enough to stop any water getting in to work in conjunction with the fiberglass I've put over the hole. And that's the other tube on the other side, full of expanding foam again. So I'm going to put the grills back on. They bolt on. That's one of the grill for this side. Just bolts on there and bolts on there. The crayfish I showed you earlier was too big to get through these grills so I can only presume it must have been living in this compartment for some time and uh, managing to uh, live quite well. There were quite a few mussels that uh, came out with the mud and the compartment had been about nine inches deep in mud as well as being full of water. I could hear the vacuum cleaner rattling and I thought it was pebbles but uh, it was fresh mussels I was sucking up at the time. So that's the grills back on. So the next time you're buying a boat and there's a bow thruster tube fitted but no bow thruster motor itself, stop and think. Is there a big cutout in the bow thruster tube? You may be thinking, why didn't I just get that hole welded up? Well, that would have been a good idea. But meanwhile, I had managed to get in contact with a firm who were willing to install a brand new brow thruster tube together with a bow thruster motor and the associated batteries and wiring. So I've decided to go down the route of having a bow thruster installed and for that reason I only bothered to fiberglass the hole and spray foam inside the tube. I needed to get the boat back in the water because the firm that was going to do the work needed the boat bringing to them and the cheapest way was to sail her there rather than being craned out onto the back of the lorry. So the boat's going back in the water in readiness for the firm to be able to do the work. Unfortunately my repair was not totally successful and you can see water trickling into the compartment again. I'll leave you with some film of two young signets as we set off to take the boat for repair. Hopefully once repaired the bow thruster compartment should be watertight as it should be. Thank you very much for subscribing, watching, your comments much appreciated. Take care and cheerio for now. Thank you.